As an ethical and political theorist, I explore human nature relations through the prism of the nuclear age. My Alfred Deakin postdoctoral research fellowship project responds to the Australian federal government's intention to isolate low to intermediate level radioactive waste from people and their environment for up to 10,000 years. Australia currently produces 80% of this waste from nuclear medicine, yet its legacy management is a national scientific and security priority and disproportionately impacts the cultural landscape of traditional owners. My innovation here is to approach the Australian nuclear fuel cycle as future cultural and environmental heritage to address questions of responsibility and justice across cultural, generational and species boundaries. Australia is a critical site of investigation since it is home to the world's oldest continuous cultures as well as one third of all the known uranium on Earth. Deakin's long-standing research excellence in contemporary history and heritage studies resonated with the interdisciplinary demands of my project into Australia's nuclear archive. Moreover, Deakin has a demonstrated track record of supporting problem-led postdoctoral research that delivers tangible benefits to stakeholder communities. This culture of public engagement and impact offers an ideal home for me to critically evaluate and inform such a highly contested arena of activism and policy as Australian nuclear waste management and to give primacy in that work to the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, which demands free, prior and informed consent. Deakin's appetite for has based contributions to what are often framed as STEM grand challenges, such as sustainability and environmental health and wellbeing, has exceeded my expectations. For instance, Deakin's Science and Society Network sponsored my proposal to convene a team of environmental engineers here at Deakin, RMIT and in industry. Together, we are asking how and why the archives of environmentally remediated and contaminated uranium mining sites are managed over immediate, intermediate and possibly even far future timeframes. In my short time at Deakin, I have been supported through active mentorship and internal project funding, as well as assistance with identifying and then applying for externally competitive schemes. Deakin's Contemporary Histories Research Group, led by David Lowe and others, funded a companion digital archive to a manuscript that I have in development that reconstructs the antipodean nuclear ethics and politics of the pioneering environmental philosopher Richard Routley through archival research. One of the exciting directions I'm taking my research at Deakin has been made possible by an Australian Academy of the Humanities travelling fellowship to engage with nuclear archives, not just in Australia, but internationally.